Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about powers. Power questions involve the three rules of exponents, multiplying, dividing, and um, power to a power. When multiplying, we want to add exponents. So x squared times x to the third would be x to the fifth. When dividing, we want to subtract exponents. x to the seventh divided by x squared would be x to the fifth. And when a power is raised to a power, that's when we multiply. x squared raised to the power of 3 would be x to the sixth. So when multiplying, you can remember the acronym MADS. That means multiply. When you multiply, you add. When you divide, you subtract. So again, x squared times x to the third, we would add the 2 and the 3 to get x to the fifth. Dividing means subtract. So if we had x to the fifth divided by x to the third, we would do 5 minus 3, which would yield x squared. And when a power is raised to a power, we're going to multiply. So in this one, x squared raised to the power of 4 would yield x to the 8th. So let's go ahead and do these practice ones. What is x to the 6th times x to the 3rd? Well, when we multiply powers, we're going to add those powers. When we multiply common bases, we're going to add the power. So here, this answer would be x to the 9th. On the next one, x to the 7th divided by x to the 3rd, we would subtract, which would yield x to the 4th. In the next one, we have x cubed raised to the power of 2, which would be 3 times 2, x to the 6th. In the last one, we have a few steps to do. The first, x to the 3rd raised to the 5th would be x to the 15th. In the next one, x to the 3rd times x to the squared would be x to the 5th. And when we do x to the 15th divided by x to the 5th, we would subtract, yielding x to the 10th. Negative powers are the same as just writing 1 over x to that power. So if you have x to the negative fifth, it's equal to 1 over x to the fifth. Negative powers in the denominator can be written as positive powers on the numerator. So 1 over x to the negative fifth is the same as x to the fifth. So I, what you basically do here is just change the sign and put it either on the bottom or the top, depending on whether, where you want it. So if you move it from the top to the bottom, just switch the sign of the exponent. Square roots represent fractional exponents. So the square root of x can be written as x to the 1 half. The cubed root of x can be written as x to the 1 third. And then when you have fractional powers, you can rewrite them by taking the numerator and using it as the primary power. And then the denominator is writing as a fractional power. So x to the 3 fourths could be rewritten as x to the third raised to the power of 1 fourth. So I hope you learned a lot about powers, and hope to see you soon.